Well, Vicki, we don't know any specifics about what led to today's search, but we do know Indiana State Police is focusing its investigation on a public official. Now, they're not saying who, but the allegations include fraud, official misconduct, ghost employment, and tax evasion. Indiana State Police investigators spent hours searching this Jeffersonville home on Old Tay Bridge Wednesday afternoon. WLKY confirmed through property records it's owned by former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is an update you are not going to want to miss. A year ago I started working with my friends for public safety and official misconduct to report on a story they've been covering on their channel. I've shared multiple videos in collaboration with them to get their story out and uncover what has been going on in Clark County, Indiana. As many of you already know, Chris and Tiff were victims of a botched raid conducted by the Clark County Sheriff's Department. The reason for this raid was due to the fact that they falsified information to obtain a warrant. During their raid, they realized they had no reason to be there. There's a three-part series on Chris's channel explaining all the details of the raid. I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out. Behind this raid was Jamie Knoll, the former sheriff at the time. He is now involved in local and GOP politics. You may recognize him from the show 60 Days In. In this show, they focus on the narrative that cartels are trafficking narcotics through the states of Indiana and Kentucky. Alongside Jamie Knoll in this show was his second-hand man, Scotty Maples. Scotty is now the current Clark County Sheriff. During Scotty's campaign for sheriff, Jamie endorsed him. Since taking the position as sheriff, it seems that Scotty Maples has turned on his former buddy in blue. On August 16, 2023, Jamie's house was raided on many allegations including fraud and tax evasion. Maybe Scotty played the role of a friend this whole time to get the position and then clean house. Or maybe Scotty threw Jamie under the bus to cover his own back, whatever the case may be. It looks like we are continuing to uncover something big in the state of Indiana. I have a feeling that this is just the beginning of a story that will make national headlines as the investigation plays out. Secretary of State records also list the home as the office address for a company called Genco Group LLC, which lists Noel as the registered agent. During the search, Jeffersonville fire crews brought in saws and axes and could be seen cutting into something in the backyard. Investigators were later seen loading several boxes into a car before being driven away. Current Clark County Sheriff Scotty Maples confirmed he ordered a full review of the office and its budget after taking over the department. In a statement, he said, during that review, we uncovered evidence of troubling and potentially criminal behavior during the previous administration. Because no one is above the law, I referred the evidence we uncovered to the Indiana State Police to ensure an impartial and independent investigation. My girlfriend and I were victims of a botched police raid that was performed by Clark County in Indiana uh, Police Department, Sheriff's Department. According to court documents, Chris Ryder was severely beaten during the raid and his girlfriend's back was broken. That led them to filing a federal lawsuit against the Sheriff's Department for civil rights violations, alleging they falsely obtained the warrant. There you are. Come on out and talk to me, brother. I don't know why it's so hard to talk to you. Mr. No, I'd like to meet you. In, but let's, let's do it right, man. Let's be respectful. How about this? I'm Chris. Yeah, I agree, brother. In person. And in, I have just been trying time. to have a respectful conversation Enjoy with you. Enjoy your First Amendment right. That's what we're here for, brother. It ain't even about that, man. I'm not no, a First Amendment activist. that's absolutely what it is. It should be. It, well, that's all you're seeing it because that's be. the only one you're worried about, man. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, we need to talk about some of the actives, the actions that's been going on inside of your facility. You know I can't talk about any type You of can talk about the ones no, that relate no, to me. Can't talk about no pending litigation. Well, how that. come? Well, mine's not pending yet, is it? You know I can't talk hey, about pain. How about this? Do you want to go ahead and settle? Well, that's support your right. You can walk around and film all day long. I would like to have a sit-down, respectable, real conversation with you in the right legal format. Gotcha. And we will. We'll distinguish yeah. what's litigation and I, material and, I look, and what's and not. I look forward to it. Will you do it? I look forward to it. Come on, commit to it. I look forward to it. You will know, you do you it? Know I do. Come I on now, it. commit to it, no. <laughs> it led us to need to start researching records and getting information and in, you know intel from people that might know anything so that we could understand how does something like this happen inside of a sheriff's agency. Ryder says what they found was evidence of widespread corruption within the department, evidence they turned over to the Department of Justice. While they don't know the details behind Wednesday's search, they say they're just glad someone is finally looking into it. Hopefully this helps make this community safer. That's our main goal is to have everyone be safe. Any info yet? 
Well, we know that Scotty Maples just said that he's under, that they uncovered a lot of stuff in their own investigation of what was going on. So Clark even had some investigating that they uncovered. See, we, we were part of the reporter reporting of this. Really? Yeah. We were raided uh, by the Clark County Agency a few years ago, and we were uncovering the corruption. So we started reporting this to the feds back then. So this is, like I said, we've been waiting for this for a long time. This is a form of justice for us. And we started our YouTube channels because of what their agency did to us. And we've been trying to tell the world all this time that this stuff has been happening. And we've kind of got, you know, you're crazy, you're conspiracy theory, you know. But no, we were right. This, this is what was happening. So here we are. So this is a good day for you. It is. It feels good. It feels like a piece of justice, you know. Just stay back a little bit further than what you I'm want. A, I won't pass the tape, buddy. Well, you just stay back. 20, I ain't trying to give you a hard way. You can film all you want. Oh, I know you're not giving me a hard way. I'm part of the reason you guys are here, and I thank I you for no doing idea. it. I have no idea why we're here, brother, but look here. Oh, I do. Just stay back a little, just a little bit. All right? I'm fine, man. Yep, right. I'm fine. That's the 25 feet from the thing. Move back, all right? <laughs> you left it out. That's hey, my fault, man. Right? It's no secret. Hey, it's look, I'm on your team, buddy. It's fine, and I'm not trying to give you a hard way. Just stay back 25 feet, bro. All right, Mr. Blaine. Uh, thank you, man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving you a hard time either, bro. I'm not giving you a hard time. You can film all you want. I am. Just please stay back 25 feet. That's why. All right, I'm real curious because I was a victim of this no, man. I have no idea, brother. This man made look me here. a victim, that's, so I'm that's here. That's fine. I'm happy to see this. You know as much as I don't know nothing. I know way more than you. Yeah, I got you. They just told me, and just stay back. That's all I'm asking. All right, man. I'm just super curious, buddy. Man, you can film all day long, just stay back. You'll <laughs> be all right. Like I said, there ain't nothing top secret on that, man. No, I know. I'm actually just walking there. I see him come out in cuffs. It seems like the cops here are just as problematic to the community as the criminals they base the whole show on. I just hope this isn't one of those situations where one police department investigates another and they let them off with lesser charges than what is initially being reported. I guess we will have to wait and see what transpires from this raid. I want to give a special shout out to Chris and Tiff for continuing to report on this unfolding story, and a shout out to you viewers at home for tuning in and sharing it. Together we will all continue to uncover corruption and misconduct. Noel is also the CEO and Chief of New Chapel Fire and EMS, which provides services across Clark County. His assistant chief confirms that ISP troopers serve search warrants at three of those stations and says that operations will continue as usual during the investigation. At this point, ISP is only saying that it is investigating a Clark County public official and the warrants involve allegations of public corruption, tax evasion, fraud, ghost employment, and official misconduct. Watch yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Gotta watch him. watch him. We know the way that you cop it. Cop it. We don't give no option. Ooh. Camera gon' shoot in nine minutes. Keep that rollin', no stopping. Stop it. They don't know now. We gon' teach them every day. By my country, every day. This my country, every day. False conviction. You got a power addiction. We on the road, me and the bros. Telling the story so everyone know. Send them to hell, little Nikki. Nikki. San Joaquin, shout out the crew. We gon' show the world don't miss it. My whole team on the mission. My eyes wide open, I see everything you doing. We gon' check the law. I know my rights like I passed the bar. I'ma make sure you know yours and all. Home of the brave, free us all. Can't do it all, and we stand and talk. Only real criminals behind bars. Only real criminals behind bars. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Officer. Why you wanna pull me up?